Okay, today on No Mac No Cheese, we're going to continue with the menu settings on the Canon 40D. As you see here, I'm actually in the uh, settings menu. First option we have here is auto power off. You can have it turn the camera automatically turn off after a minute, up to 30 minutes. I generally leave it off. I don't want my camera shutting down when I'm at a wedding. File numbering, you can actually have it continuous, which means it'll start at 0001 and go to 9999 and then loop around. You can have it automatically reset every time you change your card. So every card is going to start with 1 and end at 9999, if you can take that many pictures on that card. Or a manual reset, which means you tell it when you're going to reset the, the counter. I generally leave it on continuous. Only time this is ever really a problem is if I start a wedding and it's starting in the you know nine thousands, and halfway through the wedding it rolls over and goes to one. Um, sometimes it's displayed in the wrong order, but that's easy enough to to adjust by sorting it by date. Uh, Auto rotate. Uh, this is available in three different modes: um, on with the little camera icon and the computer icon. That means a vertical picture is going to be displayed vertically on both the camera and the computer. On on just the computer means a vertical picture will show sideways on the back of the camera, so you get the largest possible image, but it will be rotated on the computer. That's how I usually leave it set, so I can show the customer the biggest image. Or you can turn it off. Don't really see a reason to leave it off. That's my personal favorite setting right there. The info button, uh, you can do a couple different things. Uh, normal display, uh, it'll so cycle through a couple displays. Camera set, that does here, shows just the, uh, the settings on the camera. Or shooting functions, which is just um, the shooting function of the camera shows exactly what you'd see inside the viewfinder. I usually leave it on normal display, which cycles between the two. Then format, this clears the card completely, uh, doesn't leave any stray folders or stray thumbnails. Uh, good idea to clear your card this way every time you, you start something fresh. Okay, next setting over here. The LCD brightness, you can adjust how bright or how dim the, the images are going to look on the back of your camera. You see when you hit that, you have a little grayscale display here on the right. You should be able to see distinctions between all of these lines, uh, especially the top one there. You know, you get it too bright, all of a sudden you can't see it. You can't see any highlights. And if you get it too dark, you can't see any of the shadows. I generally leave it right about the middle at four. Date and time, pretty self-explanatory. Language, English, video system, NTSC, which is standard for the US. Sensor cleaning. Um, automatic cleaning is every time you turn the camera on or turn it off, it's going to try to clean the sensor. Manually have it clean the sensor, or you can actually clean it manually. Uh, I'll go into how to clean this manually later. Uh, but those are, this is where you get to that. Do you ever set the date with two cameras and three cameras for the exact same date, exact same time, so you can sync them? I do. Uh, Chris brought up a good point with the time. Um, the, the 40D and most of the newer cameras give you an option for seconds. You can see it counting there. Whenever we shoot with two cameras at a wedding, we'll actually line these up, um, go through and edit it here. You know, make sure we're at the exact second, and we do a countdown, three, two, one, press. That way our timing between the two cameras is the same. When we sort by date, it's always, it's always uh, lined up. All right, the live view function settings. This is when we start to get into some things that you may or may not have seen before. Going to this, you get another menu. Live view shooting uh, right now is disabled. I'm going to enable it, which means when I press the button here, I'm going to be able to see my live view, see exactly what the camera sees. The grid display, you can turn that on or off. 
Uh, I like to keep it on, that way I can make sure my verticals and horizontals are in, in line. It's got a couple different silent shooting modes. Silent, uh, silent shoot one, extremely quiet. It will not trigger the flash. So that's something you have to be careful of. Mode two, a little bit louder, but it will trigger the flash. So a couple things to watch for there. And then you can also turn off silent shoot, which just gives you a normal, normal sounding. The, any of the live view shooting is going to be very quiet because uh, it's not actually moving the mirror, it's only moving the shutter. I actually find live view to be rather handy when I'm shooting my formals. Now the metering timer, every few seconds, up to thir every 30 minutes, it'll adjust the metering and I'd update the display to tell you how it's doing. I'm going to go back here. Now flash control, you can enable or disable the flash. This is good when you're using a flash just for the autofocus assist. Built-in flash setting. It's always going to be ETTL. You can have it first or second curtain. You can adjust the flash exposure comp here. And you can go evaluative, which uses all the focus points, or average, which just uses the center part of the, the image uh, to determine the, how much light it needs to use. Average is good when you have a bride in a white dress and a groom in a black tux. And it's, it's very easy to, for the flash to mess that up. Evaluative is really good when you're focused on a face. And the other focus point stays on the face. And you want to make sure that, you're, um, that the camera can expose for the skin as opposed to the, the backgrounds. Good for very dark or very light backgrounds. You know, external flash. Custom function. It's available with the 580 EX2. I don't have the flash installed right now, so it shows me that. Again, external flash custom functions only with the 580 EX2. You can clear it as well. That's all I have for today. Tomorrow we'll be going over uh, the third segment of this of the menus of the Canon 40D. See you next time.